Scorpio, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm a fellow Scorpion for those of you that are brand new, so I know us well. Let's see what's happening. Thank you for your patience in the reading. I've had a lot on my plate. Okay, we won't get into that, but anyhow, let's get into your reading. I'm as anxious as you are. So this reading is for anybody with a Scorpio sun, moon, rising, Venus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this isn't your message now, it definitely can be in the near future, okay? I've had Tarot, you know, read for me and it has happened for me like two months, three months, happens in a couple weeks, six months, all the way up to a year. So remember that, okay? Everything's divine timing and each one of you are in your past at different times. And this is a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want a personal reading, shacy.com. And you can check out the reviews there. Although I do have my hands full right now of personal reading. So, um, but anyhow, check that out. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into it. Don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. I really appreciate it. And if it helps guide you, uh, it definitely helps guide other Scorpios. And it helps others to understand our energy better, Scorpios. For those of you that are watching, so it's a win-win. Happy birthday, Scorpio, for those of us expecting birthdays soon. All right. Again, let's get into it. I'm also going to pull the confessions from your soulmate near the end of the reading. I'm going to put them here. I'm going to shuffle them while I read the tarot dice. Okay, so Scorpio, this is an interesting lineup here. There is strong earth energy here. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, or this could be you. You could be focusing on your money, your career. It could be your wishes, you know, to... Uh, wait for an offer to come some of you are waiting for a uh, financial offer to come in some of you are expecting or hoping for some good news regarding maybe an investment you made uh, but for many of you i'm getting here that there is an earth energy wanting to come towards you again it doesn't have to be an earth sign it doesn't have to be a taurus capricorn or virgo this is somebody who's financially stable um, they believe in family and home Okay, this could be somebody in your life who's been rather silent, slow, um, but there is a deep bond here. There is a deep connection here, or there will be between you and this person. Uh, this person sees family with you, okay, is what I'm seeing here. Um, for some of you, for others of you, this, this is somebody who's been, I want to say like, I want to say like quiet. They've been quiet. They've been a lot in their head up here. Um... This King of Pentacles right here, can you see the King of Pentacles, okay, is wanting to, I don't know, I'm getting that they kind of want to balance things out with you, that there's a lot of confusion or decisions here to make surrounding this connection between you and them. Now, this could be somebody here that, I don't know, Scorpio, they may have rejected you before, not really seen it, not really felt the, the connection between you. Uh, it can simply mean that this person has a lot going on in their head is what I'm getting. But their wish here is to come towards you. Um, they want to make things right. And I'm getting that this person wants to make decisions with you is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, for some of you, they could have been dealing with some legal issues within a family environment. Okay, it could be. They could have been dealing with like a lot of negative aspects in their family. This person definitely, you know, is all in their head about the fact that maybe, I don't know, almost they were, for some of you, not all of you, that they were very self-absorbed. I don't know why I'm getting that message, but it could be that they rejected you, Scorpio, or left you hanging or left you in silence because they wanted to... No way, no way to whitewash this Scorpio and, and don't shoot the messenger. This isn't necessarily for all of you, but for some of you, it's definitely a message I'm getting because we have the Four of Cups here. The Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So it can mean that they wanted to make sure that this connection was for them, but they may have also wanted to check out their other opportunities first. So they may not have seen or felt how deep your connection was or is until they talked to their other opportunities and realized, and again, this can go vice versa, Scorpio. If this isn't, uh, if this isn't your person, it could be you, you know. Um, but I'm also getting that if, if you 
rejected their offer because they they went silent okay then you may have started looking at your other opportunities there's that as well i'm getting but interesting that the star and the eight of wands came out because this is about going towards your your hopes your dreams your wishes your destiny okay this is destined to be with a soulmate here forward action could be traveling um, this is about being real, being authentic. So perhaps this person wants to come towards you, Scorpio, and be real and authentic with you. They may have had to have gone through some kind of a, I want to say an enlightening experience. Like they had to realize things for themselves. But I also feel like they see you as a star seed. Like maybe... They might see you as you were meant to come towards them in order to help them to go towards their destiny here with the two of cups and the star energy that came out. This is somebody maybe that works super hard or maybe they were just all about their work. It could be. Oh, okay. We got the six of wands. This is about getting attention, recognition. Okay, they may see you as really working hard, Scorpio doing really well, working hard on whatever it is you do. And that you're being successful. You're doing quite well. Clear for the Six of Wands for Scorpio. Ten of Cups and the Death Energy. So what was I saying about there could have been some difficulties, possibly legal issues in a family. Whatever issues are going on, though, in their family, I feel like they're working hard to overcome those challenges, that it's the end of those challenges. Clarify death. For some of you, I'm getting here that, you know, you're doing really well. And if you were having trouble in your family, those that's going to end. Wow. We have the nine of swords, the three of pentacles. And the Ten of Wands. So for those of you that are brand new, this is the vintage double decker. This is the 1960s and the 1970s Zolar deck, okay? Very old. Um, I love them. So this is, I, I can't sleep, I can't function, I, I can't do this anymore. Somebody's throwing themselves maybe all into their work. They could see that. I'm just, I'm getting such, I'm getting a mixture of your energy and their Scorpio. They may feel like, you know, you're getting a lot of recognition right now. For some of you, I'm getting that, you know, Scorpio, you're just overwhelmed. You're working way too much. You're struggling, like, not financially. I don't feel that because Eight of Pentacles shows me that, you know, you're doing amazing. Um, that that you, you are a very hard worker at whatever you do. And we are, as Scorpios, we're very hard workers. But you're moving towards success here, okay? I feel like for some of you here, if you're having issues here, or somebody's having issues with you, I feel like it could be in your family. And, and it's been a struggle. And it can be because, you know, there's some chit-chat or gossip going on. That's just for a handful of you. But for others of you, if this is your person here, this King of Pentacles, okay, moving really slowly towards you, I feel like this is a hard worker and, and they're going to overcome any kind of struggles that they have in a family. But I do feel like this person feels rather guilty, okay, because they want to let this go. Like they, this is somebody who's at the end of the rope. They've been talking maybe to others, getting others advice, and they're just ready to let the situation go with their family. Like, oh, I'm getting so many messages. For some of you, this person has lost somebody in their family, or you have. There may have been a death in the family, and, and they're, they're like, they can't sleep. It may have left the burden all on this person. They may be talking to other people on how to overcome the financial responsibilities of losing somebody in the family. Or helping somebody with the financial responsibilities of somebody that was lost in the family. Mm, could be waiting for a payout. That could be why this person is silent. It can be an inheritance or just, again, money struggles. There's a lot 
a lot to deal with, a lot of decisions and choices to make since this person passed away. Maybe it's all on this person. Maybe they're executor of a will or they were put in charge unexpectedly. It's hard to say. I'm getting so many messages. You'll have to let me know in the comment section how this resonates. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands for us Scorpios. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Wow. Knight of Wands. This is I want to take action towards letting this go. So I feel like this person, Scorpio, wants to let go of whatever has been weighing them down a lot. I feel like they're saying whatever obstacles I have to overcome, I'm going to overcome them. And although I feel guilty and although I'm worried about the outcome, I've been talking to others that I trust and now I'm going to take action towards letting this go. I'm realizing that I, I don't need to hold on to this anymore. So I feel like this, if this is your person again or you, again, feel free to flip the energies. Depends who's watching as to whose perspective it plays out from. This is, you know, I feel I feel more confident now and a little bit excited even, you know, and getting over my guilt a little bit because I know that that I can make this happen manifest so i feel like your person's trying to manifest overcoming these obstacles and feeling more confident after talking to somebody or people that they trust about how to move forward here they may have gotten some good advice because at first this is somebody who has a lot of fear we've got the nine of swords not just once in the tarot dice but twice scorpio showing me that you know we're we're needing to overcome this here but now we're confident as a knight of wands. We're manifesting, taking the action and letting go now. That's really good. So somebody's realizing that, you know, I can't do this anymore. Let's clarify the magician. For some of you, I'm getting that this person is really stressed out that they're going to miss an opportunity with you. Okay, so look at patience and timing here, Scorpio. There, there's the angel right there guiding us telling us to control and moderate our emotions four of wands that you know we're going to be dealing with either a new foundation or closing and closing out a prior foundation with our family okay it's going to take some healing time patience and timing as of of the essence here it takes time to pour one cup into the other, but you do have a deep spiritual connection coming in, Scorpio. No two ways about it. There's going to be decisions to make here. There's going to be some choices, but there is an offer coming in here. I feel like this person wants to, um, I saw the Eight of Wands and pre-shuffle, right? So I feel like they want to deliver some news in person, you know, that, that they're excited about, that they manifested here um, coming towards you. Let's go ahead and get your person's energy on the other deck, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. What's going on in Scorpio's person of interest energy now or coming towards Scorpio in the future? So I have Scorpion energy here, of course, our energy Scorpio. I have Pisces. I have Sagittarius. I have Libra. I have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Those are the strongest energies I have. What is going on with Scorpio's person now or coming towards Scorpio in the future? What do we need to know? So there will be a part two Scorpio for those of you that are brand new. Upper right hand corner near the end of this reading. It'll say part two watch now where I'm going to dig much deeper into uh, November and the next six months with the after tarot. See what the possible outcome is. And I'm also going to pull more guidance messages and I'm going to pull more confessions from your soulmate. Do the fun tarot of SEX. We're going to dig depending what we get here. Okay. Wow, Scorpio. So in your person's energy, again, feel free to flip it. Depends who's watching. We have the hermit Virgo energy here. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the king of pentacles again. Double confirmation. And we have the five of wands. Okay, so there's going to be some kind of a massive turning point here. A change in luck and fortune. There's going to be some arguments or disagreements. Again, too many people involved. I feel like this person trying to come into your life here is dealing with some financial issues that there's going to be arguing over. It could be arguing over the inheritance. It could be arguing over what to do with that money. It could be held up in court here. It could have been from a death of a family member here. Um, but it can also be that there's massive changes within a family and we're figuring out the finances and the different decisions here in order to dissolve, dissolve this situation. 
So what I do like is there's a five of wands here in their energy, Scorpio, and the six of wands in yours. So you're showing that you're overcoming obstacles. Your person's still going through or will be going through or presently is going through some massive changes. So whatever decisions they have made in the past, they're going to have to deal with good or bad, the consequences that happened based upon prior decisions here. There could be some jealousy arguments. Like I said, it could be about money. It could be jealousy. It could be anything with the five of wands. It's just that there's too many people involved. It can be that, again, Scorpio, for some of you here, they may have um, had to turn you away or vice versa due to different decisions and confusion in their life. Again, this is somebody that takes on a lot of responsibilities and they're needing time to really think about what they're doing because there is conflict in their life. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> my daughter's been homesick. She has laryngitis, so I'm, I think my body's fighting it. <laughs> it's fighting it. <laughs> Let's clarify the five of wands. And I apologize for being late, Scorpio, but not only has my daughter been sick off and on, but I've had car trouble. Like, anyway, long story. Um, Knight of Pentacles again. So double confirmation of the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, we're moving very, very slowly towards being stable, towards these financial changes, towards letting go of certain responsibilities here. And there will be some people that aren't going to be happy. Oh my gosh, seven of cups, double confirmation. So there's a lot of duplicate confirmations here, Scorpio, which to me, you know, definitely uh, solidifies it for me that, you know, there's a lot of conflicts over making these decisions that affect um, them and their family. Um, it could be um, investments, you know, a house, um, bank accounts, um, savings, all those things, a, a vacation home, uh, whatever the case may be, there's, there's arguments or there's going to be arguments over these financial changes. This is a, a major life change here with the wheel of fortune. What are these decisions and choices? They're not sure. So, Somebody could be in their family blocking some of the finances. What's this blockage of the two of swords? They could be indecisive about some of these decisions. Okay. Um, they're not sure whether or not they want to take a break, maybe, from their family. Because they've had all the responsibility, they've been working, they may be kind of like fighting to have a break, like I want to go away, maybe, is what I'm getting. Three of Cups, oh, Scorpio. This may be somebody who's telling their family they want a break, you know, they want to get away. Clear for the Three of Cups. Why is it here? Ten of Swords. Ouch. So whatever break this is, there's a lot of arguments or jealousies going on. It can be that the person you're dealing with is struggling with other people in their family. Their family is feeling, or that's what they're feeling. They're worried that their family is going to block them because they're going to feel betrayed. And that could be why they're feeling guilty because they maybe their family is making them feel guilty all oh, because they're not, they're not, um, they're not happy where they are anymore. This is somebody that's struggled for a long time. My goodness, when you get nine ten of swords. <sighs> That means we've already been here for too long. We've we've already stayed for too long. This is somebody who doesn't feel supported or happy in their environment emotionally. Uh, they walked away a long time ago. Okay, let's clarify the Eight of Cups. So this is going to change things. And there's some people in your person's life, again, or vice versa, that's going to be upset. Yeah, I want to walk away and I want to have a new solid start. This is somebody that's fighting to build a new foundation. Speaking their truth here, palace of swords. And there's going to be certain family members that are not going to be happy about it. 
but spirit is saying in time things will heal things will change here uh this is faded everything that's happening is you know faded destiny timing here wheel of fortune good or bad uh take time to think about these changes and to make these decisions but if you wait too long spirit is saying you know you or they could miss this opportunity tens are about the end of a cycle we have ten of cups ten of wands and the ten of swords some of you could be seeing ten ten okay bottom of the deck queen of swords this is somebody who is ready to cut out people places and things this is somebody who that you know i've been through a lot already like you know don't don't hand me any crap kind of thing i've already been through it but this can also be a divorcee somebody who's been hurt somebody who's been betrayed or a divorcee um, it can be that somebody's walking away from and has gone through a divorce, an ex, it could be. Or this person may have walked away from you or you walked away from them, Scorpio, because they were looking at their other opportunities. They were selfish. Uh, they didn't consider you, your feelings. Uh, they may have felt really guilty, okay, uh, for their silence and now they want to come and make things right i'm getting mixed messages let's go ahead and get the mutual energies okay what are the mutual energies between scorpio and our person of interest what do we need to know how are we both feeling toward this connection now or coming towards scorpio in the future this is our shacy prism tarot deck if you want to check that out at shacy.com this is about transformation that design i i um I made it and I thought it was really cool because to me it signified transformation and the changes that we go through. Okay, wow, marriage, tradition, commitment. So either you were both in a marriage or, or commitment or, you know, this is the thoughts of going into a marriage or commitment. We do have the Page of Pentacles and we do have that beautiful Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio. So could, this could be somebody, you know, wanting to come towards you, but you, they feel like you're, you're feeling very, very guarded. They're not sure if you've emotionally detached and they're trying to figure out how to change things perhaps between you and them. I'm getting mixed messages. Thank you to Jen and to Goodman if you're here. Thank you so much. All right. See, they want to balance things out. I feel like this is somebody that sees marriage and commitment with you for the future. Scorpio with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And I feel like they want to balance things out with you here is what I'm getting. Okay. Self-love and care. So maybe that's what you've both been kind of working on is yourselves. We do have the Eight of Pentacles. It can be that you're putting your time, your effort, your energy into yourself, your work, whatever it is you do, Scorpio. Some of you are star seeds, okay? So you may have a spiritual business as well. Yeah, look at that. Just as I said that, they want to balance things out. Look at that. The whole enchilada, baby. This is the Ten of Cups. I can have my happiness with you, Scorpio. Success, dreams coming true, marriage, commitment. Let's balance things out. Wow, expect some communication. Claim that, Scorpio. That's amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and get messages from your person, okay? Let's see. Okay. First message. Are you ready? Learning. You are unique and special and I've never met anyone like you before. You've opened me up to things I've never knew were possible. I'm so strong because of the power of our love. You have opened my heart to the truth and I'm very grateful for all the lessons that we both are learning now. So some of you were, you know, you're meant to go through lessons with this person and, and clean up your past here. And like I said, come to each other authentically here. And you're learning. You're meant to learn from each other in this soul to soul spiritual connection. So there you go. That's why Spirit's saying be patient. Things are changing here with the Wheel of Fortune. Next message, strive. I've grown up since our last encounter. I've been working on myself to be a better person whom you can be feel proud of. And again, like I was saying, I feel like you both were meant to learn self-love and self-care because if your cup's empty, you can't fill each other's cup, okay? If you're not whole yourself, how can you be with somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Next message, promise. I wish you knew just how special you are to me. It kills me not to be able to tell you. You amaze me with your compassion and kindness through the time apart. I promise I will make things right between us. That's incredible because we have here justice and balance here. 
right? Equal exchange. So I feel like you both want to bring this connection together or you will Scorpio. Okay. Because you're going to receive some kind of communication that's going to change everything here with the wheel of fortune. This person sees you as their whole enchilada and they're going to promise you that, you know, they want to balance things out and make things right. Mission. Together we are an unstoppable force. We have a purpose together and I'm determined to live it out with you. We are just perfect together. We can overcome any obstacles if we work as a team. So there you go. Five to the six of wands. This tells me this, you know, th your person coming towards you has every intention of overcoming obstacles and being successful. I feel like they're working hard to overcome and predict any possible complications so that they've already thought everything through okay wow scorpio okay let's get a couple of mystic forest oracle messages where did the mess oh my did you see that fly out wow you've awakened this person's soul and vice versa that's what a deep spiritual connection is meant to do scorpio you're meant to help each other become the best versions of yourself yeah because your souls recognize each other, or they will. You are quite irresistible when your mind and heart pulse in the same rhythm. Why spend your days fighting yourself? You have better things to do. Okay, so don't fight yourself and the changes you're going through. You are meant to go through them. The spirit of love. Don't search for true love, for it will find you if you just hold on to who you are. The world already loves your essence, so don't change it for anyone. Okay, but... I feel like when your souls recognize each other and you mirror each other, because that's kind of what's going on here a little bit here is what I'm seeing. Then you, you kind of guide each other to make those changes because it's just, it, there's a willingness within us all to do that when there's somebody that we really click with, right? We're willing to do what we need to, to make each other happy, right? But it's still got to be mutual is what I'm saying. Okay, let's get some quick messages here for uh, Finance Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. Then we're going to head into part two. I'm going to see who's walking away. We'll get into that in a minute. And where are they going? <laughs> where are they going? And this Ace of Pentacles, we definitely want to check in on that. So let's see financially what's going on right quick. For us Scorpios, what do we need to know? Yep, you're closing on a cycle that's been difficult, Scorpio. Ooh, yeah, you're bossing up. You're bossing up, yeah. Okay, some of you may even get a payout, okay? After you've been through something difficult, you may get a payout. But things are going to balance out financially for you, okay? Yep, you're going to be able to move away from this rather painful, difficult, struggling time towards something much calmer, much happier. Some of you may actually end up moving. You might, okay? But you're... <sighs> Nice. You're going to be very, very financially stable. You may have quite a bit of financial success, success coming your way, Scorpion. It's because you've been trusting your intuition. If you haven't been trusting your intuition, Spirit's telling you to trust your intuition. Things are going to balance out. You're going to head towards a very stable time here. Um, I'm definitely seeing that it's going to allow you... Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. It's you, Some of you may actually start traveling. You may travel for business or just because you have time and you can travel for pleasure. But Spirit says, don't focus on things that happened in your past. You got to continue to move forward. Don't keep looking back. Keep moving forward. Okay, is the message. And do, do your due diligence in um, checking things out and understanding other people's viewpoints um, and seek out like-minded people in your, your kind of business, your you know, um, like-minded people to continue to move forward with success here. Yeah. Don't keep looking at the past though. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Woo. You guys are, you're going to boss up. You're going to do very well. Some of you may even get into a marriage or commitment. Okay. And that person may have money. I'm just saying that could be, I feel like some of you, it could be that you come together and that's why together you're like the ultimate team. That could be this could be a boss. This could be your own boss or you're the boss. Yep. Spirit says, take a leap of faith and follow your dreams. That, you know, when you do so, I mean, again, do your due diligence, right? But there could be some unexpected opportunities that you're not expecting come in that just kind of sweeten the deal. Yeah. Don't focus on the past. You're not going there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. 
<laughs> just as I said that, the high priestess. Yeah, trust your intuition, okay? Consider everything. Um, have patience. Okay, Scorpio, we're going to go check into part two. I'm going to check the next six months with the after tarot. Uh, we're going to see what the possible outcome is over the next six months. So from November to whatever it is, April or I don't remember. Um, we're going to check the next six months. And I also want to pull the fun tarot of SCX. And we're going to check out, I want to see what we're walking away from, like where we're walking to, what decisions and choices are there to make. What happens after this Ten of Swords and this break period and definitely the Ace of Pentacles? Where is this Ace of Pentacles? Who's it going to? What is it? Okay, so <laughs> and we're, maybe we'll also clarify temperance to find out like how much longer do we need to be patient? Okay, is what I'm getting. Scorpio, so if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time, approximately a week. Uh, for those of you who see me on part two, I'll be right there. Remember, upper right-hand corner or click the more button and you can definitely uh, check out your other options there. I thank you so much for visiting. Thank you for returning. Thanks for your donations. It's truly appreciated. Leave me comments. I read all of them all the time. And again, stay away from the fake readers, okay? Much love, much light. I will see you all again next time.